Hi, how are you? I hope you are fine, okay? And I hope that you have enjoyed and benefited from my first video about introducing yourself. Good. So today I'm going to give you another video, okay, about some questions and it is the following of the first video which is introducing yourself. But now we're going to see questions, how to ask questions uh, to someone in the Moroccan dialect. Good. So the first question is, uh, when we say what is your name in English, so in the Moroccan dialect it is Smitek, Smitek. Okay, you can repeat it and you repeat it just three or four times and it becomes easier for you. Okay, Smitek, it is what is your name. Good. When we say how old are you in English, it's Shhal. This is the pronunciation of this word is Shhal. So you pay attention just here because this letter uh, is very difficult to pronounce for the English people. So shhal, shhal, fa'amrak. So fa'amrak is, or shhal fa'amrak is how old are you? Can you repeat? Shhal fa'amrak. Okay. Shhal fa'amrak is how old are you? Number three is where are you from? When we say where are you from in English, its equivalent in the Moroccan dialect is Mninta. Mninta. Mnin is where. And ta. So when we say in the Moroccan dialect, Mninta means where are you from. Good. Number four is where do you live? In English, it means in the Moroccan dialect, Fin Ketsun. Okay? Fin Ketsun. When we say to someone, Fin Ketsun is where. Do you leave? Okay, so as I have already promised you and told you, I'm going to give some grammar lessons about uh, some uh, lessons in the Moroccan dialect just to clarify uh, something in the Moroccan dialect. Okay, so we're going to see the possessive adjectives in the Moroccan dialect. Good. So <clears throat> in English, we say my, we want to speak about something I have. Okay, something I possess. But in the Moroccan dialect, when we say smiti, okay, when we say e, the letter e, it means my, okay, like this. We're going to give the example of smiti, smiti, okay. So you pay attention here because it is this final letter which gives the possessive adjective my name. Smiti is my name. Okay, so when we say Smiti is your name. Good. So here it is Smiti. Smiti. So what happens here? So what happens here? So we change the letter I in the end here with K. So the letter K is your. Okay. <clears throat> so when we say K at the end of any letter, any word in the Moroccan dialect, it means that it is your. For example, I say your name is Smith, your house is Barak, uh, your pen is Kalamuk. Uh, okay, so this is the meaning or the function of K at the end of the word. So Smith so is his. So when we have this letter O, at the end of any word is means his. Like here we say smi smi to. So we change k with o uh, smi to. So here we have is his. Okay, smi to. So when we have o uh, at the end of any word in the Moroccan dialect, it means that we speak about his. Okay. So her is smi ta. We will just we take this example of smita and smita just to show you how we use the possessive adjectives in the Moroccan dialect. So smita, smita. So ha here is her. Smita. So here we repeat this and we add the na. Okay. When we have na, it means our. Okay. Your. So, we pay attention here because we have, what do we have at the end of the word is kum. 
So these are the possessive adjectives in the Moroccan dialect. Okay, I, K, O, H, A, N, A, and Kum. And the final is, uh, or at the end, we uh, speak about that. So, that is smid hum. Okay, hum. So, hum in the Moroccan dialect is there in English. Smid hum, their names. Okay, so the letters I have circled here are the possessive adjectives in the Moroccan dialect. I hope that you have enjoyed and benefited from this video and thank you very much. Good